He was also hit with 100 hours of unpaid work, 10 days rehabilitation and £1,800 in costs to the Crown Prosecution Service The 39-year-old's vehicle was driving at 40 miles per hour along the congested motorway Babish Patel admitted he had been silly but said he was just the unlucky 1A motorist who put his Tesla on autopilot before climbing into the passenger seat on the M1 has been banned from driving for 18 months Babish Patel, 39, was spotted by a passing driver with his hands behind his head as his car sped along the congested motorway at 40 miles per hour. Pleading guilty to dangerous driving at St Albans Crown Court on Friday, April 20, he admitted he had been silly but said the car was amazing and he was just the unlucky one who got caught. The court heard that just before 8 p.m. on May 21 last year Patel was driving his wife's white Tesla S60 along the northbound carriageway of the M1 between junctions 8 and 9 near Hemel Hempstead. Traffic was heavy due to congestion when Patel switched on the supercar's autopilot function before moving across to the passenger seat leaving the steering wheel and foot controls unmanned. A witness saw Patel, of Alferton Road, Nottingham sat in the passenger seat with his hands behind his head. The witness quickly filmed Patel as they passed him on the right. Investigating officer PC Kirk Aldicott slammed Patel as grossly irresponsible, adding his behavior could have ended in tragedy. He said he not only endangered his own life but the lives of other innocent people using the motorway on that day. This case should serve as an example to all drivers who have access to autopilot controls and have thought about attempting something similar. I want to stress that they are in no way a substitute for a competent motorist in the driving seat who can react appropriately to the road ahead. I hope Patel uses his disqualification period to reflect on why he chose to make such a reckless decision on that day. Police were alerted after the video went viral and then soon after a notice of intended prosecution arrived at Patel's home in the post. He was later interviewed by officers at Stevenage Police Station. Patel was also hit with 100 hours of unpaid work, 10 days rehabilitation and £1,800 in costs to the Crown Prosecution Service. Tesla's autopilot system has been blamed for a number of deadly crashes and near misses. Tesla admitted a vehicle involved in a fatal California crash was operating on autopilot. Apple engineer Walter Huang, 38, was killed on March 23 while driving his Tesla XSUV. His hands had been off the steering wheel for six seconds before the crash. Earlier this year, a self driving Volvo SUV being tested by ride hailing service Uber struck and killed a pedestrian in Arizona, US. Tesla Inc. defended its autopilot feature in a blog post at the time, saying that while it doesn't prevent all accidents, it makes them less likely to occur. We're all gonna die.
Model posts video of friends speeding down a freeway in autopilot with no hands on the steering wheel of a Tesla A US model has faced criticism after she posted a video of her friend at the wheel of their Tesla car driving with no hands. Hari Neff, 25, shared the controversial video on her Instagram story on Friday but deleted it shortly after. It showed model Jacob Dixonman, 24, at the wheel of the vehicle facing towards the camera and away from the road. Neff is known as a transgender model and actress who's worked for brands such as Gucci and Dixonman most recently appeared in a Topman campaign. What's happening? Dixonman asks, both hands clasping his face as the car continues to move down the road. Someone is heard saying, we're all gonna die, as passengers jokingly scream from the backseat. The steering wheel is seen adjusting itself without Dixonman's help, and the car appears to be on autopilot mode. Autopilot technology is meant to assist the driver, not drive the car like Tesla's entirely separate self-driving technology. Tesla said drivers should stay fully attentive while using the autopilot mode. A spokesperson for the company told BuzzFeed the models were not following the company's instructions to keep your hands on the steering wheel at all times, maintain control and responsibility for your vehicle, and be prepared to take over at any time. According to the company, the warnings appear every time autopilot is turned on in Tesla vehicles.